Okay, hi. So we continue with the example three. Um, again, domain and range. Okay, now we have a square root. So now we have uh, describe. We have to describe the domain. Domain is the set of x y where x y must be always real. Is there any condition? Okay, now we have a square root function. Square root function. And look at what is the possible value, sorry. Possible value of x squared plus y squared so that the value of z here always exists. So, you will see that the value inside which is x squared plus y squared must be always positive. And include zero. Okay, so now uh, yes, you see that that is a condition. But now, is that really a condition? Okay, so you have the x squared plus y squared. You meaning that whatever. Okay, now you have x and you square. So you see that. Okay, if I put negative x, I mean negative value of x. If um, yeah, whatever value, positive, negative. And it, it will give you always a positive value because of what? Because of we have square here. So if you put negative, you will get positive because square. If you put you if you have zero and it becomes zero. Okay, now look at the, the second part which is y square. Now ask yourself if I put any y, any value of y, negative, zero, or positive, and it will end up to be zero or positive. So meaning that you can put, actually, you can choose any x and any y. And the answer is always positive. So, that is not the, uh, I mean, yes, if you put, if you put this to be the, 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 um, um, the constraint, so it's still correct. But here, because after this, you have to sketch the region. You have to you have to sketch the the domain. Then that, that's why you have to clear what is exactly the the condition. What is exactly the condition for this particular function? So I would say that there is no constraint. You can put any x and you can put any y. That is more uh the more correct. Okay, but if you put this also correct, but because of after this you have to sketch the the domain. That's why you have to understand. Okay, so meaning that the correct one should be in this form. You can just close it. You can put any x, you can put any y, so that your uh, your value of the function is always as is. Okay, so now region, sorry, uh, range. Okay, range, uh, similar as the previous uh, example, example 2, you have a positive square root, so meaning that your value of z is always positive. So the range is the value of z. When z is always real, uh, sorry, there should be a condition. Z is real, and or you can say, but z is always positive. Okay, so now you want to sketch the, uh, the domain. Sketching of the domain. On y x plane. So now you just look at on your domain. Since you said that uh, I, you can put any x, any y, so there is no constraint. So there is no specific curve. You can choose any point on the x, y plane. Okay. Um, so just look at. Okay. Example 4. Example 4. Example 4, you have the function is given by one over x plus y. Okay, so is there any restriction? Yes, the denominator here should be, cannot be equal to 0. So, now domain is the set of x, y, where x, y, 
must be real number. Is there any condition? Yes. So, x plus y cannot be equal to 0. Okay, so now, uh, range is the output. Okay, 1 is fixed. But your value of your denominator can be positive, can be negative. So, since it can be positive, can be negative. So, you can say that the answer, I mean, the z is, can be any number, can be negative, can be, can be positive, but not 0. Okay, so, the value of z, the range is the value of z, z is a real number, and z cannot be equal to 0. Okay, now sketching of the domain, look at your uh, description of your domain. Okay, so since now you have a constraint here, then you have to focus on this. Just like the previous one. Now, take out your condition. You have this. And for the sake of sketching, you want to know what kind of curve on your y-x plane. Then, just refer to your constraint here. And change to equal. So, you have x plus y equal to 0. Now, because you want to sketch the graph, you have to transform the equation into a standard form. So, y equal to minus x. So, we have a straight line, isn't it? Okay, straight line and the slope is negative. So, meaning that your graph is something like this. Okay. But you have to deal, you here you deal with the inequality. So, but then it's not uh, equal to. Uh, not equal to meaning that nothing to do with the, uh, this, the, the shaded area. Okay, you need to shade the area because you want to, to explain uh, a set of x and y. So you have to shade the area. So meaning that you want to say, I can choose any point on the xy plane except, except on the line. Because when you rearrange this, this equation, so when you rearrange, so now you have x plus y is not equal to 0 when you rearrange. So y is not equal to minus x. So based on your... Uh, Sketching here, what you can see that uh, in terms of sketch, in terms of uh, shading the area, so you can shade everywhere on x y plane. But then, how can you you say I, you don't want the the y uh, uh, because you you have you have this particular condition, right? Okay, you say that I can choose any y and except except along the line of y equal to minus x. So when you see that except, so you don't you don't want it. You don't want it. So you have to instead of you put the solid line, so you have to uh, provide the dash line. Dash line. So from this graph we understand okay uh, people should understand that the thing that you want to see about your domain okay about the domain the 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 the, uh, the description of the domain uh, without using this form, this form, you want to explain to other people using graph, you, you can see that I can choose any point on the xy plane except the value or the point along this line. That is um, uh, the meaning or the, the elaboration of this particular description. You understand? Okay. Sorry. So, this is supposed to be straight line but it's not so straight line. Okay.